Okay, boys and girls, it's time for seat work time. Guess what Mrs. Stevens did? I told Mr. Nate yesterday. We went up to the school. I said, Mr. Nate, I cannot believe I did this again. I, You know how I couldn't find the folder of your seat work papers? Guess what? Where they were. They were in my classroom. I said, Mr. Nate, I am losing my mind. But I found them, which is a good thing. So you will need page 307 and 308. Then you'll need language page 154. You'll need letters and sounds. Ooh, this one's gonna be fun. Page 154. Then you need writing page 158. Okay, let's put writing first. I know that when we do writing first, our writing is the best. You're going to learn about the postman today. So the postman is the title, so it goes right here. Then it says, the happy postman swings along. His bag is deep and wide, and messages from all the world are bundled up inside. Now, you see how there's one, two, three, four, and there's one, two, three, four lines in the poem? So look, this is the first line, second line, third line, fourth line. Okay, now let's look at your math paper. Look at your math paper. Section number one, you're going to write two addition facts and two subtraction facts. Section number two, tell me what is the temperature? Let's look at that one, boys and girls. What two numbers, two ten numbers is it between? 60 and 70. Has it reached the 70 yet? So we know it's 60 something. So let's start at 60. Let's count by twos. Ready? 62, 64. So you're going to write 6, 4, 64 degrees. Okay. Section number three, you're going to divide the circle into halves. So all you have to do is just divide it into halves. Divide, then section number four, divide the rectangle into thirds. Then section number five, you're going to count from 971 to 1,000. To 1,000. Then they, you will check this paper at the end of your math class, and then they'll do the other side with you. Okay? Let's look at your language. Paper. Okay, it says read the story, circle 13 com compound words. There are 14 in all because they already circled the first one. I'm going to read the story. Then I'm, I'm going to do this paper with you guys. Okay, so get your pencils ready. Mrs. Stevens is going to read it. One day, Mom and I went to pick blackberries. That's a compound word, so they circled it. We pulled the car to the side of the highway got out our cardboard box, and walked up the hillside. Okay, in that sentence, did you see any compound words? And you know what? Let Mrs. Stevens, so I'm telling you the right answers. Let me get my book that has the answers in it. Okay, so let me read it again. We pulled the car to the side of the highway got out our cardboard box, and walked up the hillside. Do you see any compound words? There's actually three in that sentence. What's the first one? Highway, so you see, we pulled the car to the side of the highway, H-I-G-H-W-A-Y, got out our cardboard box, and walked up the hillside. So you should have circled highway, cardboard, hillside. Butterflies and honeybees flew around as we pit. The sun was hot. We felt like we were getting sunburns. Do you see any um, compound words in that section? Butterflies, honeybees, and what's the last one? Sunburns. So you should circle butterflies. Let me show you on this paper. So let's see. There is butterflies, honeybees, sunburns. That word right there. All of a sudden, we saw a thunderstorm coming. Soon it began to rain. 
We cannot stay here, yelled Dad. We all ran to the car. Do you see any compound words there? Thunderstorm, very good. So here's thunderstorm. This next one may be a little bit confusing, but it actually is the word cannot. Because you have can and not, it's two complete words. When the rain stopped a while later, we saw a rainbow in the sky. Back up the hillside, we went to pick more blackberries. We already know two of them. Hillside, blackberries, do you know the other one? Rainbow, so let's Miss Stevens get right there. Rainbow, hillside, blackberries. Okay, now we're on the last paragraph. When we picked up our box to leave, we had a friend. A grasshopper was in our box. We took him out and watched as he jumped up the hillside. Then we went home. Well, you already know one, hillside. You know the other one? Grasshopper. So grasshopper and hillside. Okay, now let's look at the bottom. It says, word challenge. Can you answer these questions? Number one, what was the family picking? Flower, fruit, or vegetables? Fruit. They marked the, they marked the circle for fruit. Number two, what flew around them as they picked? Birds, airplanes, or insects? Insects. So mark the circle under insects. Number three, did the grasshopper go home in the box? Yes or no? No, because remember it says, when we picked up our box to leave, we had a friend. A grasshopper was in our box. We took him out and watched as he jumped up the hillside so that he did not go home with us. So guess what, boys and girls? Mrs. Stevens did your language paper with you, so you don't have to do your language paper. Now, look at your letters and sounds paper. It says, use the color key to color the picture. S-I-O-N is going to be blue. A-R is going to be red. T-I-O-N is going to be brown. O-R is going to be yellow. A-R-E is going to be peach. E-I-G-H is going to be green. So follow the color key to color the picture. After you're finished coloring this picture, you're going to go on a Becca and watch Math Lesson 154. Math Lesson 154. After you are finished, Watching Math Lesson 154, then you're going to come back to Mrs. Stevens and we will do reading together.